thrown a freshman on him, but you would expect Okafor to be lurking over there to help out. Rashad Anderson spins to take the shot well off the mark, but Boone gets an easy offensive rebound. By Chuck Davis, and now a nice assist to get the freshman a, a basket to pick up his confidence. Boone with an easy basket off the America. Tied it four early. Davidson tries to get inside. Okafor returns the favor. And another block, this time by Boone. <laughs> And Davidson was on the baseline when he recovered the ball. <laughs> he made that nifty little pass, not uh, getting both feet inbounds. Ben Gordon, lightning quick. Anderson hits the three. That way, good end three to Davis. Open for run him. Good idea to keep going to wow. Davis until he gets stopped. There's a lot of banging there. Villanueva. You're backpedaling so much, they, they just force the action on you and take the initiative. The point guard to leak in for Denham Brown. Not related. Ben Gordon has a good relationship with that. He's gentle Ben in a lot of ways. He's lived up to that nickname. Davis. Okafer with a block. His second. And another. Took it right off the rim as locks. Hey, Alabama Crimson Tide. Meet Emeka Okafer. Yes, he has been beaten once or twice early. 10 to 10. Over 400 blocks in his three-year career for Okafor. He has four already. Good three-point shooting team. They've got to take the open ones, but they can't get enough of down game. Another block by Okafor, and here comes Connecticut. Three on two. Gordon can't hit. But look who's there to get the easy follow. Shelton misses on his three-point attempt, so given a breather, Okafor, but he doesn't sit down. Gordon. Lays it worked very nicely and Mark Godfrey right away stamping his foot on the outside after that ball went through the net. Get back! Get back! Oh my! Sean Anderson, automatic. That's his third tray. He's a tired puppy dog right now, looking over to the bench saying, I need a breather. Oh, Rashad Anderson, he's taking all the prizes if this is a carnival he can not me trying to guard Ben uh, Gordon oh, what a leap by Okafer he scores and he'll go to the line and uh, took a pretty good blow in the back as he shot that ball and is trying to work it off yeah, Jamario Davidson gonna take a swipe here as Okafer goes up there right across the head and Okafer has been battling that bad back. That'll make him forget the back for a couple of seconds. Uh, he just had Chuck Davis all locked up on that particular play. Davis has some good moves down there, uses his body very well, but you're going against the best at Okafer. Ben Gordon joins the three-hit parade. He's got ten. I'm at the Okafer in the game. You're just joining us. Uh, we're whacked heavily on the head, taking a shot, and had a... Numbing effect. Gordon gets a long rebound. Mazzani of uh, Penn State. Ben Gordon has scored the last eight points for UConn. But Villanueva changes that. And... Zone defense for Alabama. That's that's playing right into the hands of that. Davis over Okafer and could not hit. They break out in a hurry. Gordon stops the three. <laughs> they are really good. 46-27, timeout Alabama. Well, Rashad Anderson trying to regain his touch. He was on fire in the early part of this game. He's got it back, and then the picture perfect, beautiful shot from Ben Gordon. Connecticut. Eight. Shot wasn't blocked by Okafer, but he made him change it. But Davis seems unfazed by all that. Okafer setting up Villanueva. Big men play a little passing game. About a seven second difference between shot and game box. There's Anderson for three. Oh, well, Denham Brown was the starter for Connecticut and then had some injuries, knee and hip, and opened up the door for Rajad, uh, Rashad Anderson, and he just kicked that door down, taking over that starting spot, Rashad Anderson. I would just try to keep the ball out of his hands no matter what. Just put the blinders on. Don't worry about helping anybody else. Don't let him get it. And then Gordon finds yeah. a way to work. Just about even, 22-19 to 19 favor of UConn, and they got back reasonably well on defense. 
Anderson. Oh, but that's, that's it. Everything is so father. So obviously, he's coming from a family who uh, holds that education at a very high value. Gordon, no foul. And inside, Anderson shows that he'll battle on the glass. Obviously with him, it yeah. changes the whole complexion. They're tough defensively on the perimeter, and he, of course, anchors the back of that defense with the shot block. Ben Gordon from long. 10 or 12 at the six-minute mark. Thomas trying to make it a little tougher on Gordon. Look at that ball handling skill. And then he sets up Armstrong, and he can't hit it. Gets it back for the easy two. <laughs> this is a little bit of a blur here. And again, he just goes oh, oh, cross over, stop on a dime, put it on the floor, create that opening and the perfect delivery. And Hilton Armstrong didn't take any, not taking anything for granted, staying with the follow-up. Brown, who has established this season a record most assists in a the year. There's another Villanueva. Thank you very much to Lee. And also, career-wise, to Leek Brown, over 700 assists in his brilliant four years at UConn. And I think we're going to have a technical foul after this dunk. Charlie Villanueva pulls on the rim a little bit. You see, he's trying to milk some clock. They're getting very tentative, and then winding with the shot clock winding down. They're forced to take a bad one. And Gordon takes a good one, and there's the result. Best free throw shooter for the Huskies at about 82 percent. That's too soft defensively. Ball away from Emma Thomas and down the bottom here in the Valley of the Sun. Going away back. High percentage shot. <laughs> Could you do this? Oh, in my dreams, Greg, only on a trampoline. <laughs> and they push the, uh, the runner in round one by Antoine Petway. And then the improbable victory over Stanford to vault him into the Sweet 16. Well, they're part of the bracket busting here at the Phoenix uh, Regional. Ben Gordon now with 36, one less than his career high. And they just let uh, Kennedy Winston walk in for an easy two. Connecticut fans appropriately stand as one and salute these Huskies. They're a handful both ends of the court and that defense shows you at times they just can strangle an offense and then they're they're more powerful at the offensive end. A lot of people give them credit. But two big questions Dick. How is Emeka Okafor going to respond to this injury and keep in mind UConn Huskies have not been tested. That's a good point. No uh, team has really. They beat Vermont by 17. They beat DePaul by 17. 20 point win over Vanderbilt. And here they are uh, 2016 ahead of uh, Alabama. So what will happen when they truly are tested by a solid team? And you got to come down the final 10 minutes, five minutes, and win a game. But congratulations to Jim Calhoun and the Connecticut. Connecticut Huskies, they've repeated what they accomplished five years ago here in Phoenix. They have made a trip to the Final Four. Gordon with 36, Anderson 28 to lead Connecticut. Davis wound up with 24 tops for Bama and Winston with 21.